cool. Alright, so we're back in my room. So let's leave, I guess. Or the phone's gonna ring. Great! Kyle? Rachel? What now? Hey, sweetie. Who's Bradley? What? After you got off the phone with Ed, I heard him talking to himself. Well, muttering is more like it. He said something about giving up the search for Bradley. Come on, Kyle. Who's Bradley? Forget it, Rachel. Can't talk now. <laughs> um, hmm. So he doesn't want to tell her either way. Uh, forget it, Rachel. Bradley. Forget it, Rachel. It's got nothing to do with you. Well, aren't you just full of Christmas cheer? Come on, handsome. Tell me, please. Look, it's a long story, and I hate long stories. Pain in my ass. Okay, okay, I get it. Hey, is Ed there? Put him on, will you? Sorry, sweetie, but he just stepped out. Figures. Have him page me when he gets back. Will do. Take care. She took that well. I would have been pissed off. Bitch, tell me already! <laughs> Maybe he's right. Maybe my search for Bradley is a fool's errand. Why would he think- Why would you think that? After the conversation you just had with Lewis, of all people. Of course, I don't know what I'd do if I give it up. Other than quit this miserable job. I don't think you should stop. You've had a guest that stay there with your name. Y you've met Lewis. Like, it it's too much of a quinky dink. Or, you know, it's not a quinky dink. <laughs> I'll screw it. I'm hungry. Guess I'll head down to the five star restaurant and see what they've got. Yeah, I mean, you're eating free tonight, so why not? Oh, look at that. Who is that? Who could that be? Oh, look who's here. It's Melissa and her fucking rude-ass father. Wonder what they're talking about. Melissa! Look at me when I'm speaking to you, young lady. Why would you do that while we're eating? But... But nothing! Dad! Don't dad me! I've had it up to here with your back talk. For once, could you just do as you're told and be quiet? I'm so tired of this, and I don't want to hear any more excuses. Go back to the room. I'll be up in a few minutes. Dad! Dad, I... I hate you! Hey. Uh oh, Kyle's getting in other people's business. Everything okay, I guess? What's going on? Nothing. <laughs> you got quite a set of pipes there. Yeah, I'm loud, so? You gonna yell at me too? Melissa turns and runs up the stairs. Melissa. Hey. Yes. Look like a rough job, raising kids, I mean. Oh yeah, sometimes it is. I'm sorry you had to see that. Hold it. You should be sorry. Nothing to apologize for. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Kids need to be kept in line, right? Well, yes, but I'd rather not be seen scolding my daughter in public. It happens. What's your name? Oh, that's right. We haven't. This is a bit after the fact, but let me introduce myself. I'm Kevin Woodward. I'm a surgeon at Robbins Memorial Hospital in Santa Monica. Kevin Woodward, huh? 
Nice name, buddy. He oddly looks like somebody we've met before, doesn't he? <laughs> Just with different hair. Kyle Hyde. I'm a salesman for Red Karen. Ugh, why'd I say it like that? Kyle Hyde. Yeah. Kyle Hyde. Interesting. Really? Now what? What is it? Good name, isn't it? <laughs> what is it? What? You got a problem? No, no, it's nothing. I just thought I'd heard your name before, that's all. Have we perhaps met before? Nope, first time. Of course it is, of course. I'm sure my memory is just playing tricks on me. Please forgive me. By the way, Mr. Hyde, it seems you've spoken with my daughter Melissa on previous occasions. Would you mind telling me what sort of conversations you had? I don't follow, nothing special. Nothing special. We just chatted, nothing specific. I see. So someone has my name. Another fucking person with my name. Quinky Dink, I think not. You know somebody with my name? No? I think one of my patients may have had a similar name, but I'm sure my memory is just playing tricks on me. Yes, that must be it. After all, we just met for the first time, yes? I'm sorry for rambling. If you'll excuse me. Kevin leaves. Shit, man. Wait a minute. What did Kevin say? It seems you've spoken to my daughter Melissa on previous occasions. Would you mind telling me what sort of conversation you've had? I wonder what Kevin was so worried about. Did I miss a question? Usually it only does that when you miss a question, but oh my god, look who it is. Hello, Louie. <laughs> Good evening, uh, sir? Welcome to the Moonlit Grill. <laughs> I like the sir, that's a nice touch. Come on, brother, don't hassle me. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> you the host for the restaurant too? I told you, Dunnin's a total slave driver. Sun goes down, I gotta run this place and the bar too. Anyways, we got a table ready. Tonight's special is a big steak with some kind of weird garlic butter. I could go for a steak. The grub up here any good? Better than you think. Rose is an old windbag, but she knows which end of the spoon to use. Alright, I'll take the steak and some spuds and eggs too. The fuck? Hash brown potatoes, egg sunny side up. Damn, sounds good, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, wait, I gotta ask before I forget again. Anything wrong with your room? Wrong? You know, lights don't work, or water messed up, or rats or whatever. Nope, everything's ace. Cool, good to hear. Some of the rooms on the second floor are messed up, you know? Dunning ain't let anyone stay in them for six months now. Hey. Oh! So wait, 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 six months? Um, so that, so that means that Kyle Hyde that was staying in 217, his room could be vacant. Let's see if we can ask. Six months? You've had rooms out of commission for the past six months? Yeah, they're all messed up. Total holes, of course, done it won't fix them. Says it's a waste of dough. Guys like Scrooge, uh, only fatter and meaner. <laughs> Which rooms? Let's see, 217, 220, and 218. Three rooms that ain't being used, huh? Better write that down in the old notebook. Can't remember crap. I, I don't even remember what he said. What did he say? 217... 220 and I think he said 218 
Okay. We're actually using this notebook for something. <laughs> what do you write in? Mind your business! Okay. <laughs> where's, where's, uh, oh no. So room, room 217 ain't being used. So room 217's on the fritz. Yeah. Ain't been touched in six months or so. Really? Six months, huh? Seems like a long time to let a room sit there. What's going down? You know that room? The room where the guy with my name stayed? No way, man. How'd you figure that out? I looked in the guest register. You did? How? I broke in the Dunning's office? Oh man, you gotta be pulling my chain. You broke into the office? Why'd you go and do a thing like that? I think the guy with my name was Bradley. Get out of here. It's a hunch, but I think I'm right. Look, man, even if you're right, you can't just go running around the hotel like your ass is on fire. Chasing clues is one thing, but this is crazy. You ain't a cop no more. You can't be picking locks and breaking doors and all that. If Dunning finds out, he's gonna total trip out. Totally trip out. Whoa, my game just skipped. <laughs> Come on, man. You need to know anything about what's happening here. Just ask me. You hear me, brother? I hear you. Alright, I got something for you. Get me into room 217. Huh? I want to poke around in there. Poke around? What's special? <laughs> poke around, that special cop lingo? Yeah, alright. I can do. Dunning keeps all the room keys locked up, so I gotta wait for the right time. But don't worry. There's one thing I know, it's boosted stuff from old people. Do it. <laughs> alright, so where's the bar? So where's the bar? Straight down the hall, my man. Look for the seven star sign. Bar opens at nine. Wanna grab a drink with me later? Depends. You got any decent bourbon? Yeah, booze is the one thing Dunny doesn't skip on. That bar, my man, is well stocked. Got a whole bunch of Kentucky gentlemen to introduce you to. Sounds good. Hell yeah, it does. I ain't had a decent drinking buddy in forever, man. Restaurant's in the back around the corner. One of the center tables is open. Go ahead and sit there. Right. Louie's cool. Gotta love Louie. Oh, hello. Hello. What's the princess want now? Uh-huh. Hey. What is it? You're in the way. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? Oh, Mr. Hyde, you scared me. What are you daydreaming about? You never heard me coming, did you? Wait, did I read that right? You never heard me coming, did you? Oh, I'm sorry. Something awful happened and now I'm depressed. Oh boy. Yeah? Depressed you? You seem upset. You seem upset. What's wrong? Tell me, Mr. Hyde. Have you ever been hated by someone? Once or twice. Why? I can't believe what she said to me. She said she hated me. She told me to go away. Can you imagine? I got, oh my god, I hate this woman so much. <laughs> Someone told you they didn't like you. Yes, and I've never had that happen to me before. It's such a shock. It's that awful child's fault. I doubt I'd ever recover. She's such a fucking drama queen. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just what I said. It's all that girl's fault. Did you see a young girl on the way here? You mean Melissa? A young girl, you mean Melissa. Is that her name? 
Melissa. Yeah. What this young girl do to you? I merely spoke to her, that's all I did. You believe me? And do you know what she did? She threw her rag doll at me and ran off. So why'd she throw a doll at you? I'm sure I have no idea. Probably raised by wolves or hippies or the like. But I swear to you, I did nothing to provoke the little <laughs> the little hoodlum. <laughs> I'm just gonna say hoodlum. <laughs> she had an adorable hand do handmade doll, and I just asked who made it. That's it? Yes, that's it. I didn't say anything that could have construed? Yeah, that says construed. Oh my god, I can't fucking read. I didn't say anything that could be construed as rude or mean. That's why I'm so surprised. I've never had a child treat me like that before. Never, huh? You're nuts. <laughs> I bet you hate kids. Let's say that. I bet you hate kids. You even like kids? What do you mean by that? Hey, it wasn't a bad choice. Kids, do you like them? Well, yes, of course, as long as they are well-mannered. Figures. Figures? What figures? Figures the kids saw right through you. And what does that mean? She smelled your act from a mile away. I still see no reason for her to throw her doll at me. What a horrible child. Mr. Hyde, I find you to be a ill-tempered brute. <laughs> Iris finishes yapping and storms off. Maybe now I can get some grub. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys feel about that? Do you think that, uh, there's something in this chair. Do you think Iris deserved to get hit even though she was acting nice to the child? Or, well, Kyle feels she was acting nice. I think she was too, to be honest. I don't think she likes interacting with people, especially kids. Uh, there's something in the chair. Huh? This is... I found a rag doll. So this is it. This is the doll Iris was talking about. Melissa must have forgotten it. Guess I'll run it up to her later. Might as well jot it down in a notebook so I won't forget. <sighs> Give... <laughs> doll. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so he said the middle table is where we eat, correct? Oh, I was just supposed to walk. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to record for another hour. This is crazy. I sat down at the table. Oh boy. I don't know. Can I upload a two-hour video? <laughs> I sat down at the table in the middle of the restaurant. Guys like me get used to eating at odd times, but... I haven't had dinner this early in a long while. Sorry to keep you waiting. Busy, busy, you know. Anyways, here's your ribeye steak, Mr. Hyde. And you also ordered hash browns and eggs sunny side up, right? Oh, that actually look good. The steak is smothered with salt, pepper, and my own homemade garlic butter. It smells delicious, doesn't it? It sure does. Yeah. Enjoy. Rosa places my dinner on the table and walks away. There's a huge plate on the table filled with chow. It all looks delicious. Smells good. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that was fantastic. Are you finished? Huh? I'll take your plate now, if that's alright, is it? I'm sure it is. Well, look at that! 
You joined the clean plate club. Not a crumb left. Thanks, Rosa. That was delicious. <laughs> well, isn't it? He has such a nice smile. Like, look at that face. He's adorable. Isn't it nice to hear? Um, it does my heart good to see a man eat. Oh, and this dessert is from Dunning. It's his way of apologizing for the mix-up with your package. Oh, what is that? It's another house specialty. Tea coffin cake. Sounds great. Take your time. No need to rush. Enjoy your food. Rosa leaves the cake on the table and walks away. That's quite the cake. Mr. Hyde? Huh? Oh, this fucking guy. Oh, it's Summers. Betty wanted a bite of my cake. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt your meal, but may I have a moment of your time? Sure, why not? I'm too fool to run away? <laughs> uh, yes, quite, actually. It's about the package mix-up we had earlier. I was curious as to whether or not there was something else inside the box. Something other than the notebook, that is. Something else? Yes. Something that you may have overlooked? Something small? Like what? <laughs> exactly, Kyle. It, it's possible it fell into the box. It fell into the box during transport. It was supposed to have been placed within the pages of the notebook. Mr. Hyde, would you mind searching that box for me one last time? So what am I looking for? Something small, like what? A bookmark. Oh. What kind of bookmark? <laughs> what kind of bookmark? It's quite small, and it has the picture of an angel on it. Sounds lovely. Yes, it is quite lovely. He doesn't get sarcasm, does he? Uh, it is a blue bookmark with a ribbon. Please do remember to look for it, Mr. Hyde. So what was written in that notebook? Oh, he looks shocked we asked. What? I saw the title on the front. The secret word, was it? Is it a book or a manuscript or something like that? Mr. Hyde. Did you see fit to read the contents of my notebook? I just looked at the cover, dude. Chill. I'm not much of a reader. I just looked at the cover. I see. Is it f it, That is for the best. Okay. What's the guy so worried about? Exactly. My bookmark is in your hands, my good man. Excuse me. Sure. Summer leaves. Can't forget that bookmark. I'll just drop a line in my notebook so I don't forget. Why are they trying to make me use this stupid notebook? Are you finished? There's someone yelling behind me. Huh? How was the cake? Was it good? I sure hope so. It was fantastic, Rosa. Best meal I've had in ages. That's so nice to hear. Many thanks. By the way, the man who was just in here is a guest in room 211, right, Mr. Summer? Yeah. He seems so familiar. I think he's a writer. That's what he told me, at least. He's some kind of writer. What? A writer? Yeah, pretty famous too, at least in his own mind. Hold it. Martin Summers. Martin Summers. Oh, I'm such a fool. How could I have not realized? It's so obvious. What are you talking about? I saw his name on the register and recognized it, of course, but I never thought it was THE Martin Summers. Hey. You know this guy? Just clean the table. Whoa! <laughs> Just clean the table, Rosa, and get out of my face. <laughs> okay, you know this guy? What do you mean, the Martin Summers? 
It really is him. Now I'm sure of it. Martin Summers is staying here. The Martin Summers. Oh, it is exciting. I'm such a fan. Bitch, who is he? What? What did he write? What is so... I still can't believe I didn't recognize him. I just assumed it was a guest with the same name. I tell you I'm a world class I'm a world class fool. Such a fool. Um So you're a fan of Summers, huh? So you're a fan of Summers, eh? <laughs> oh. But I'm not crazy or anything. But yes, I enjoy his books. So what kind of writer is Summers anyway? Well, his first book came out about 10 years ago and won a major award. Publishers were very excited. They called him the maestro of mysteries. You must have heard of his first book. It was called The Secret Word. Oh, that's the book we saw that was in that package. Oh yeah? The Secret Word, huh? Yes, that's right. It was the title of his debut novel. The Secret Word. I know I've heard that name before. Come on, Kyle. <laughs> Wait, that's what was written on the cover of Summer's Notebook. There you go. It was a very thrilling story. That's it. What? I must get his autograph. What's the book about? So what's the secret word about? It's about a man who committed the perfect crime. He does it to get revenge on a friend who betrayed him. Critics called it a gritty deceit into the darkness of a human soul. It's quite shocking. Oh, listen to me, Rosa the Book Reviewer. Revenge on a friend, huh? Hell of an idea. There was a guest a while back who had the same name as me, right? Same name as you? About six months ago? Six months ago. No, not that I remember. Nope, nope, nothing. I can't recall another guest by the name of Kyle Hyde. Really? Oh, what am I thinking? I don't have time to stand here gabbing with you. I've gotta go. Busy, busy. Rosa finishes talking and scurries away. Sweet! So we had delicious dinner. And now we're going to uh, leave and uh, go somewhere else. Oh no. Huh? It's Mila. What's she doing? Is, is he trying to talk to her? Yo, babe, it's cool that you want to help out and all. Yeah, I dig you. And I know old mama Sass feels the same way. But she's really busy right now. Oh, don't look at me like that. You're breaking my heart, baby. Come on, go on back to Rosa's room and hang out for a bit, please. Mia leaves the room. Aww. I called her Mia, but whatever. Did Mila actually say anything? No, man, not a peep. Maybe she can't speak after all. You think she can't talk, or she just don't wanna? I can't tell, man. Whole thing blows my mind. Who knows? She's a fox either way, though. Am I right? Ow! <laughs> Alright, 6.20 p.m. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, Louie, what are you doing? Got a minute? What? I'm working, man. Catch me later. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm going back to my room then. Huh? Oh, she's at the end of the hall looking at this painting. That's Mila. What's she looking at? Hey, girl. Hey. 
What are you looking at? Were you staring at that painting? I don't get art. What's so special about this one? It's not that I don't like paintings, I just don't get it. So this is where you wandered off to. I knew I'd find you somewhere. Someone is squeaking up a storm behind me. <laughs> it's Rosa. What's wrong, Mila? Don't look so sad, honey. She's adorable. Listen, Rosa's really happy that you want to help. I truly am. It's just that there's nothing for you to do at the moment, you see? I'm used to doing everything around here by myself. No one helps old Rosa. So when someone actually wants to help, I have no idea how to use them. You're a good girl, Mila. Now do me a favor and go back to my room and rest. Rosa leads Mila away. Damn. So what was she looking at? Oh. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, wait. I'm going to look at this painting. It's a painting of a couple of apples and a bottle of wine. Cute. I just saw this. I totally forgot about these. So, hmm. Okay, so around the hotel, there are stickers with numbers on them. So this one says plus 48. And basically what you do with these is you write them down and then you add them up and you get to put them in something at the end of the game. I forget what it's for, but I totally forgot these existed. So before we go back to my room, I'm going to look for all of these. So that one said plus 48. There it is. I totally forgot about these. Negative 39, okay. Or minus 39, I should say. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Minus 39. Sweet. Um. Oh, so this this is the challenge. This is it. Okay, wait. I think this is it. Get a ch get change at the front desk. Join the hunt. Find the seven lucky lucky numbers hidden in this hotel. Calculate the sum of the numbers and input it into the machine for a prize. Get lucky for just 25 cents. There it is. There's a sticker underneath the frame. So this one says plus 16. There's a TV on the end of the counter. What does that note say? There's a note stuck on the side of the TV. TV operation hours, 7 o'clock to 9 p.m. Oh, well, it's not gonna work then. I know there's one on this little stage here, which is cool. That'd be cool if they had, like, live performances happening. Oh, yep, it's on the piano. Look at that. Someone's coming down the stairs. Huh? It's Helen. Hello there, Mr. Hyde. Have you already eaten? Yeah. And how is the restaurant fair? I do hope it's tasty. Yeah, it's pretty good, which shocked me. <laughs> Truly? Well, that's certainly a good news. Well, that certainly is good news. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Hyde, I have a bit of a favor to ask of you. Can you spare a moment for your poor old woman? What? <laughs> I was wondering if you wouldn't mind escorting me to the restaurant. I had some trouble with my legs recently and I don't wish to fall on the way. But you went, you just came down this two flights of stairs perfectly fine. You know what? Okay. Uh, I don't mean to impose, but I don't know who else to ask. I'm busy. No, I'm busy. Well, maybe. We'll help her. Why not? Listen, I... Good! It's settled then. I'll take your arm. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's two little circles! <laughs> That's adorable. And then, of course, Louie isn't here. Wow. Alright. Here you go. 
Thank you, young man. You're an angel. I think I'll be all right now. You're such a help, Mr. Hyde. Thank you so much. You're a true gentleman. Don't get me confused with somebody else. I've just helped on a whim. Is that so? Well, either way, I'm grateful for the company. As you get on in years, you'll learn to appreciate simple acts of kindness. I know that I do. Fascinating. Mr. Hyde, I'm afraid I have another favor to ask you. Would you mind seeing me again this evening? Excuse me? What? She just shot her shot. Seeing you? A bit of an <laughs> a bit of an awkward phrasing perhaps, but nothing to worry about, young man. I have a feeling you're the sort of fella with whom I can enjoy a drink with. If the idea appeals, I'd like the opportunity to buy you a glass of spritz. What do you say? I don't need company. Free drinks, I'm in! Let's do it! <laughs> a drink, huh? Sure, I never turned down a free belt. Ah, oh, such honesty. <laughs> That's very refreshing, Mr. Hyde. There's a bar next to the restaurant called Seven Stars. That work for you? Nicely, I'm sure. I'll be on my way then, Mr. Hyde. Helen goes into the restaurant. That's cute. Yo, Hyde. I hear someone behind me. Wonder who that could be. <laughs> What's up, man? You here for some grub? For some more grub? No, I was just escorting someone to the restaurant. Escorting? What are you talking about? The old lady from 212. Her name's Helen. She asked me to help her down here. Check you out, Kyle Hyde. <laughs> Savior of the elderly. <laughs> Shut your head, Louie. I just did your job for you. Right. Thanks for the solid. Hey, check this out, Hyde. Boosted this off the floor of the restaurant. It was right under your seat, man. Is it your pen? It's your pen, right? I mean, it was under your table and all. That's not mine. I don't have a pen. You took the fountain print pen from Louis. Nope, not mine. Really? Figured it had to be yours, man. That's harsh. Wonder who it belongs to. Look here, there are words carved into the body of the pen. Oh, hey, you're right, my man. But it's worn down and all the eek's gone. Can't read it. I can't either. Louis? Louis Denano! I need your help right now! Get in here! Chop chop! Great. Mama Saz is on my case again. Better go see what she wants now. Good thinking. Louis runs off towards the kitchen. Hmm. Wonder how I can read this engraving. Oh wait, I think I see that. Hello. Hello, little sticker. There's a sticker on the cabinet. Well, I guess since we have the pin now, we can figure out how to do the pin. chalk powder here too. Here we go. I put a little on my finger. Oh boy. Will we be able to do this part? Cause um, you have to blow on the mic to do this. Oh, did I blow too hard? I blew too hard again! <laughs> okay, wait. Alright. 
that didn't work. So let's try the flower in the kitchen. Maybe it'll work. But I remember that shit not working. Dude, Kyle is just walking around this bitch like he owns the place. I swear to God. It says staff only door. Walks through it anyway. Hey, man. You come in here looking for a chat? Rose is gonna skin you alive, brother. You're better off coming back later. Oh, that's what he said. Okay. Alright, well, I'm just gonna squeeze past you and look at this flower over here. Oh, it didn't work! Dude! Oh my god, I said dude and it blew the chalk off! <laughs> Like what's she doing? She's blowing her DS. Like what is? Oh. Sweet fucking Jesus. All I had to do was click it. <laughs> to Alan with love. Alan? Who's Alan? Maybe Louie knows. Yeah, let's go find him. Let's go back in the kitchen. Oh, he's just standing here. Damn. Hey, Louie. I read the writing on the pen. You did? So what's to say, man? To Alan with love. Alan? Yeah. Anyone staying here tonight named Alan? I don't know. I'll have to check- <laughs> I'll have to check with old man Dunning. Do it. I wanna find who owns this pen. Hold on to it for a bit, will you? Sure, man. Why do you wanna find who owns it? Do you, why do you care so much? Can we go back and do something else? Alright, so... Now, I think I can probably get the- oh. oh yeah, that damn doll. Guess I'll give it back to the kid. Okay, well we'll do that first. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> Got a sec, kid? My dad's not here. I'm here to see you. What? You forgot something in the restaurant. Let me give her the doll first. There you go, kiddo. This is yours, right? Oh! It's okay, take it. Th thank you. My mom made this. Must be pretty important to you. Uh-huh. Then maybe you shouldn't throw it at people? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Where'd your old man run off to? I don't know. I've been a brat. I'm sure he went somewhere so he didn't have to see me anymore. He hates me. I doubt that. Yeah, but he's always all mad at me and stuff. Parents have to keep their kids in line. It's part of the job. Part of the job? Don't worry about it. See you around. What's wrong, kid? Don't... Don't go, please. Just stay here till my dad gets back. What? Listen, kid. I'm not a babysitter. Come on, please. Oh, fine. <laughs> See? He's a big sweetheart. Damn, those are some thick beds. <laughs> like, they are bulky. Alright. Anyways, what's up, kid? I know! Let's do a puzzle. Oh, not that again. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I know how this goes. Puzzle's on the table. Let's play, let's play over there. Well, I can't 
can't speak all of a sudden. All right. There's a jigsaw puzzle in the ta on the table. I almost said in the table. That wouldn't have been nice. Wait, I gotta put this whole thing together myself? Oh, God. <sighs> Two hours later. Sweet, we did it. That took me forever. <laughs> Got it. Wow, oh my gosh, you're so great. <laughs> that was too easy for you, wasn't it, mister? A little. Hey, Squirt. You know the name of the rabbit on this puzzle? Um, uh, Mr. Rabbit? No. Bet you made that up. Yeah. Well, if you care, the rabbit's name is Pinky Rabbit. Pinky Rabbit? That's right. Pinky had his own cartoon when I was growing up. Bet your mom watched it when she was a kid, too. When my mom was a kid? Yeah, your mom and dad were once kids, too. Everybody started out as a kid, you know. Yeah, I guess so. My mom gave this to me for my birthday. Yeah? When was your birthday? June 29th. June, huh? So was your birthday party, was your birthday fun? What? What is it? That's the day my mom left, so... Oh. Why do you think my mom... Why do you think she never said anything, huh? Why? Why? Why'd she go away? Wait a minute. On the back of that puzzle piece. Oh shit. This is the game the part of the game where I have to close the DS and open it. But I don't think this has that feature. And I also need to go um Okay, give me one second. There's a message written on the back of the puzzle. Goodbye, Melissa. If she wrote this, she was planning on coming, she wasn't planning on coming home. Oh, there's the daddy. This can be awkward. Huh? Mr. Hyde? What are you doing here? We were playing. I told you not to let anyone in our room. Hey, don't yell at the kid. Pardon me? But I've had quite enough of... I let myself in. She didn't do anything wrong. Sorry, didn't mean to step on anyone's toes. Well, as long as you know how I feel, I guess there's no problem. Now please leave. Yeah, I'm going, but... Let me ask you something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Why did your wife leave? I'm worried about- let's just say that one. <clears throat> you worried about something Melissa may have told me? Well, specifically, I was wondering if she, Well, specifically, I was wondering if you talked to her about her mother. If you didn't talk about anything in particular, that's fine too. What's the story with the kid's mother? Is it that she... She's not coming home? What? Melissa, what have you been telling Mr. Hyde about your mother? Damn it. Damn it all. Mr. Hyde, every family has its own circumstances, which dictate its existence. Your knowledge of my family comes from the mouth of a child. Please remember that when drawing conclusions and passing judgment. Fuck it, let's ask him. Why'd your wife leave, dude? So why did the kid's mom leave? Pardon? Wife left you, right? L left me? 
What'd you do? I mean, why'd she take off and leave you and the kid? Mr. Hyde, this isn't the place to talk about this. Easy, pal. No need to get in a, la in a ladder. Ladder? What? Um. You got a problem, pal? Easy, don't scare Melissa. Let's just say that. Don't scare her. Keep your voice down. What? I think you're scaring the kid. Dad? Melissa. Don't look at me like that. Mr. Hyde, I'm going to ask you to leave now. Kyle's rude as fuck. <laughs> so why'd your wife leave? She just left you, right? <laughs> Must have been a really shitty husband. Uh, there's something odd about Kevin and Melissa. Oh, right. I've got to track down that bookmark for Summers. 640. Guess I should check out the box Summer's notebook came in. See if a bookmark's there. Sweet. Oh, what? What? Um. So I'm like beating the box. <laughs> Which sounds terrible. Oh, there it is. That took me like 10 years. Cool. This must be Summer's bookmark. Yep, looked like an angel to me. Found a bookmark in the bottom of the cardboard box. There's a picture of an angel on it. So this is the angel, huh? Wonder who painted it. Yep. Ah, Mr. Hyde. Got a minute? Did you perhaps happen to find my bookmark? Yeah. You did, splendid. Um, who painted it? Hey, there's a picture on the bookmark. You know who did it? Uh, you noticed. Breathtaking, isn't it? Yes, I'm quite fond of this particular piece. I said find, fond. <laughs> It's a reproduced proof. Oh. <laughs> it's a reproduction of a very famous painting. Are you familiar with it? The original was painted by a man named Ortizone. His work was considered to be a pinnacle of his artistic achievements. Okay, there are many rumors surrounding the painter known as Ortizone. In fact, I intended to use his life story as a basis for my next mystery novel. Yes, I think it should be quite good, actually. Who was Ortizon? What kind of painter was this Ortizon guy? Ah, now you come to the meat of it. Mr. Ortizon was a true enigma. The mysteries of his life, much like those of his art. We do know that he was a British painter from the late 17th century. And the angel painting you see on this bookmark is a true Cope de Grace. It's rumored to have been Ortizone's final work. As a landscape painter, he never he never before attempted the human form. The painting on this bookmark is his only such piece. It is entitled Angel Opening a Doors and it was his favorite and it was my favorite Ortizone work. God, I can't read all of a sudden. Tell me something, will you? Angel Opening a Door. Angel Opening a Door. Is that the title of the painting? 
That is correct. Actually, it is his most popular and sought-after painting. I'm sure you must agree that this is a stunning work. Order zone, huh? Mr. Hyde? Don't you have something for me? Uh... Yeah, this dude! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the, uh, what are you looking at? Don't worry about it, I'm trying to get your fucking bookmark. Here's your bookmark. It was at the bottom of the box. Yes, this is it. Thank you very much, good sir. Thank you again. Mr. Hyde, are we finished? Oh, he just leaves. Great. Alright. Hmm? What's that noise? The fuck? I think it's coming from behind that door. That's 218. <laughs> Sniff. Hey, is someone in there? Who's there? I'm scared. Hey, what's going on? I'm so scared. It's Melissa's voice. Hey, Squirt. What are you doing in there? You're in 219. This isn't your room. It's dark and I'm scared. Sniff. Hey, Squirt, you okay? Oh shit. She's done locked her damn self in this room. Can I open it? <laughs> Is it just as simple as just opening the knob? Never know. Nope, door won't open. We gotta go talk to Louie, I guess. Oh shit. Um, should I just go through the kitchen? I'm just gonna go through the kitchen, fuck it. Oh, he's right here, good. Hey Louie. Huh? What, man? Room 218 vacant tonight? Yeah, it's been out of whack for a while. Damn switchboard in the on the blink. So we got no power in there. That's why Oh crap! I forgot to lock the door. What's wrong? I went in there to get some stuff and forgot to lock up. Oh no big deal. I'll take care of it in a bit. Too late. What? You did it for me. Hey thanks, brother. No, you idiot. It's too late to lock the door. Melissa locked herself in there. What? Oh, sweet crispy crap. <laughs> That's a bad scene right there. It's dark in there, brother. I mean, really dark. She won't be able to get out, get the door unlocked, you know? And then she's gonna freak? She already has. Oh, crap. We gotta do something. We gotta... Hey, Hyde, what you know about wires and power and crap like that? Um, wires? <laughs> I know enough. I know enough. As much as the next guy. Why you asking? Gotta fix the switchboard and get power to room 218. We get the lights on, the kid will calm down and unlock the door. Then we won't have to break the damn thing down. And maybe Dunning won't kill me for forgetting to lock the lock up in the first place. Sounds good to me. Good, man. Cause I ain't touching that stuff. No way, I'm getting lit up. You're useless, Louie. You know that? Yeah, that's what my mama always said. <laughs> Come on, let's get the electrical room. Let's get to the electrical room is across the hall from my room. Oh, we're walking there together. Look how cute! Two circles. Am I escorting him as well? Does he have his arm around my arm? <laughs> Alright. Oh, no, that's the laundry room. Okay, electrical, there we go. Let's just open that up.
There it is. Oh boy, here we go. Oh no. What the hell am I supposed to do? Okay. Oh shit, how the fuck am I supposed to do this part? So I, so you have to flip both of the switches at the same time, but how am I supposed to do that um, on a mouse? This isn't gonna work. I don't know what to do. Old man Dunning always used both hands, but I can't, I can't do it. So the issue is the fact that I have to hold one side of a button and then hold the other side of a button and pull them both up at the same time. And that's kind of impossible to do with a mouse. And I tried to use my touchpad or my drawing pad too, but that didn't work. So, I don't really know how I'm supposed to advance past this part, but, um, I don't know. Well, shit, guys. This had to come to an abrupt stop. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to give me a like. If you're new to the channel and you happen to stumble across it, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video, if there is a next one. Bye, guys.